Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through installing Tails 5.14 on a USB stick using a Mac. So we'll come here, we'll click download, that'll download the file, it's pretty big, 1.3 gigs, so it might take a little while. Uh, we finally have this verify your download, so just select your download there. Once you're done, it's going to show that it's successful. You can download the uh, Balena Etcher. Once it downloads, open it up. Flash from file. You might get a pop-up like this. Just click trust application. Make sure you have your jump drive inside because you need at least a gigabyte jump drive to install Tails on it. Um, if you're having issues here selecting a jump drive, you might need to format it, partition it. So just go to your disk utility and you'll see it here. You can just click erase and you want to select Mac OS Extended Journal. Uh, we also have an article here uh, for installing Tails 4.2. It's going to be very, very similar. Um, you might see something like this. GUID partition map is the one that you want. And then just format that jump drive and come back here into Belena. Select uh, target. Select that jump drive. Click select and flash. Continue. Now it's going to ask you for your system. Um, password supply that and then if this fails you gonna try again flash keep trying to flash it and eventually it will work so we'll just give it a few tries at least and then let it flash it might take a little bit once it's done flashing it's gonna validate this doesn't take much time at all and there you have it now you have your tails on your jump drive so all you have to do now is restart your mac hold down the option key and you'll see the drive so you can just go over this article that we wrote on our blog go to our blog and type in tails so once you once your computer starts up you'll see a second drive like this it might not say windows it might say something else just click it and it's going to load up tails we've got uh, more details on our blog about uh, the fact that Tails doesn't work on all versions of the Mac, but it's working on this. Uh, this is a little bit older Mac. You can see here, this is a late 2013, but it also works on some of the later Macs. And we have those details here in the article. Or you can click to the other article where we install Tails 4.11. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. And if you got any questions, let us know in the comments below. Thank you.